Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to turn a photograph into a watermark. Now, if you don't know what a watermark is, it's basically an image that's faded in the background uh, so that it kind of adds a little oomph to your design. Okay, so the first thing I do is whatever size canvas you want, there's no specific size here. Um, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to actually make the background of my canvas black. And you'll see why later, because we're going to be playing with some elements that are actually going to show the background. So that's the first thing I want to do. All right. Then the second thing that I want to do is to add an element, a frame. So I'm going to go here to elements and I want to click this one. Okay, and I click this one because it fills out the whole screen, which is what I want to do, fill out this whole screen. All right, and then I'm going to go over to my uploads because I've already uploaded and, and scrolled to the image that I want, which is going to be this image giving me the deuces. Now, I'm going to slide this image here. I'm going to take it. So if you actually click on it, it just drops it in. It doesn't size it. It doesn't give it the full size. In this case, I'm going to drag it right here by the corner so that it can populate the entire screen. So let me show you that once more. Take this, drag it. So you're going to basically drag it into this little area here, and it's going to pop in, and then you don't have to actually take your time to resize it. So I popped it in, okay? If the photo is not exactly where you want it, you can double click and slide it up or down, right? So again, I double clicked and it gives me this gray area here where it shows me I have more of the photo so I can move it up or down, okay? In this case, I'm gonna move it down a little bit, okay? And then the next thing I'm going to do is once I select the image, you see uh, when you select the image, the menu up here changes. So if I put my mouse over here to the left, you see it just says animate. You want to click the image to get all the options for the image. So I'm going to adjust and I'm going to adjust the saturation. Here's why I want to adjust the saturation. Um, it takes the color out and you can do it as little or as much as possible. For me, I'm going full black and white. Um, the reason why I keep the saturation is because it keeps all the dimension and stuff like this in the background. Okay, that's what I recommend for you. However, I'm going to do something a little different because I, I know exactly what I'm looking for. And I'm actually going to go to the filters and I'm going to choose the street filter because I actually don't want that much definition. Um, I always take my photos where there's space out to the side so I can write text. So I know I'm going to write text on this photo. So I kind of want not as much detail over here so it won't interfere with the text. Okay. And so this is the first thing. The first step is to get it just so that you have this black and white or grayscale image. The next thing is when I select again, you see this little transparency, this little square to the right. I want to click that. And I'm gonna make it watermark. I'm gonna take the transparency down. Okay, and this is how you start to create the watermark. Now, here's the deal the reason I made the background black is because we changed that transparency. But let's just say I wanna use my brand, brand colors. I slid this down a little bit, I'm, this black background. Let's just say I wanna use my brand colors and make it blue. So, do you see what that does now? So, that it takes on the color of that background. Okay. So it takes on the color of that background when you change the transparency. So if it was just white, then you really wouldn't be able to see as much detail. So I always do a colored background for my watermark. But let me go back. I want to mine black for a reason. So we're going to go back and leave it black. Okay. And now I'm about to do something a little bit different. It's now a watermark. I'm going to take the same image and this time I am going to just click it. So it pops right here because I want to do something a little different. Now, remember, I am going through the pro version. So if you go to effects, that's in the pro version, I'm going to remove the background here. So if you've done this before, you know, it takes a few seconds. It has to think and blink and wink. <laughs> And just when you think it does is done, it's gonna think and wink and blink all over again. Okay, so now I'm gonna use. There we go. It's blinking and thinking again. Okay, got it. So I'm gonna take this 
the bars and pull it in a little bit so that I can um, manipulate this, let's resize it a little bit more. So this is the exact same image, okay? But I didn't want all that background. And, uh-oh, hold on, let me do this. It's acting funky with me. So I'm gonna lock the background click and lock it. That way it doesn't think that I'm trying to replace the image. So I took that. And just so you know, um, okay, just so you know, the little lock button click and the little lock button is up here. You unlock it, lock it, okay? So that way it can't move. <clears throat> Okay, having trouble with some apps, check your internet connection and try again. It's trying to show out in front of the company. So now you see I've got more of that watermark effect where it's that image in the background and it's me, right? So now that I've seen this image on top of it, I'm gonna decide that I wanna actually make this image of me a little bit bigger. There we go. So now, now you can really see and this is me. Uh-oh, wait a minute. I did it again. Listen, I don't know what's going on with this internet today, but it's trying to play games with my little tutorial. So entrepreneurial life, guys. Entrepreneurial life. All right. So now, there we go. That's the watermark. Now, I'm going to go ahead and finish this and put text and some other stuff on it. And I'm going to come back and show you what the finished one looks like. Okay, so we're back. I just dropped in my text. It's a simple uh, graphic for my thank you page for some, um, some things I'm putting together. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That's how you do a watermark. And let me know how it turns out. Thanks.